and right now we begin with the hurricane season. It begins June 1st in the Atlantic, and according to the new outlook from NOAA, it could be a doozy. Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon joins us to break down just what we can expect in the months ahead. Well, Stephanie, last time a hurricane made landfall in Connecticut, that was with Gloria back in 1985. And while the upcoming season could be one that sets records, it's not always about how many storms develop, but where they make landfall. People who live along the East and Gulf Coast should brace themselves. The 2024 Atlantic Hurricane Outlook, released by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration today, is one for the record books. The forecast for named storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes is the highest NOAA has ever issued for the May Outlook. Between 17 and 25 named storms are forecast to form between June 1st and November 30th. Of those storms, 8 to 13 could become hurricanes, 4 to 7 of which could strengthen into major hurricanes. That's Category 3 or greater. There's an 85% chance of an above normal season. Sea surface temperatures are at record warm levels already. And as current El Nino conditions transition to La Nina, this stage is set for highly conducive tropical cyclone activity to the point where once they develop, those storms will rapidly intensify. Every Category 5 storm that made landfall in, in the United States in the last 100 years, ready, is a tropical storm or less three days prior. Big ones are fast. The ominous forecast comes as much of the south has already been inundated by heavy rain in recent weeks, particularly along the Gulf Coast. Tropical systems coupled with saturated soils pose the threat of extreme flooding, even while inland and after a storm has passed. Hurricanes impact far beyond the coast. Be aware and prepared no matter where you live. All right, and of course, here in Connecticut, again, 1985, it was Gloria. But since then, of course, Irene, Sandy, Isaiah, storms making landfall in proximity to Connecticut have a big impact on what happens here in our state as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to make landfall to have a big impact here across the Nutmeg State. And again, looking at this outlook, because it is so notable, 17 to 25 named storms, that's well above the average of 14. We average three major hurricanes, NOAA forecasting four to seven. So pretty incredible. Again, the season kicks off on June 1st, runs to the end of November. The first alert forecast team will be here with you through it all. Of course, the WFSB weather app, always a great resource, regardless of season, to track anything that, that develops from thunderstorms like today to tropical systems as we head through the coming months. And here's a look at the list of storm names for the 2024 season. We start at the top of the alphabet, alternating gender. Uh, 21 names. If you saw, remember, in that outlook, we could have as many as 24. So we have a supplemental list that we'll go to after this list. We've only gone to that uh, second list twice uh, since uh, we've been naming storms and dating back to, uh, say, 1950.